Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Rempinis and in this video for Hacking 9's course by passing WAF we are going to talk about the WAF Ninja tool and WAF Ninja basically is a tool for automated uh, WAF bypassing uh, it has uh, many capabilities and we can find it in this GitHub repo uh, so let's continue to its installation. I am in Kali Linux, but uh, this applies uh, to any uh, Linux machine. Uh, first of all, we have to execute the git clone uh, command with this repository that we can find in this page of WAF Ninja. We select enter. and uh, our reposi repository is cloned in a folder on our desktop so now let's go to uh, this folder and as you can see uh, it's a python script that we can run but uh, as you can see here uh, it, uh, it needs uh, this library, the progress bar of Python, uh, that uh, it is not installed on most of the Linux machines. Uh, to install it, uh, we have to execute the pip install uh, progress bar. I hit enter. And, and as you can see it starts the installation of the progress bar oh we have an error here sorry and we are ready so now you can see that we are ready to execute uh, this uh, tool, the WAF Ninja, and it this is the usage that we have to do. So to start, we are here again in uh, the dumb vulnerable web application, and let's uh, start the open WASP uh, or WASP zap to uh, capture the cookie of our uh, must see of uh, our session here with the DVWA to do so we go here okay let's start it and let's give here something like uh, one sorry close one and submit and you can see here that we have the request and this is the cookie we copy and now that we have captured the cookie uh, we can start uh, the tool so we uh, start by using the python and waf ninja.py because it's a python script of course and then we have uh, to firstly determine the attack that we are going to execute so as a first example let's see a fuzz attack uh, and then we are giving the u option for the target url that we are going to give uh, this web page uh, by control c and now that we copy it let's give here fuzz and close the quotes. Uh, we continue by giving the C parameter for the cookie that we captured earlier and we paste it again inside the quotes. And finally we have to determine uh, the type of attack that uh, of vulnerability that is presented in the target web page. So for this example uh, we have an SQL injection vulnerability 
so we are uh, giving here SQL. We hit enter and as you can see in a pretty fast way uh, the WAF Ninja uh, tried to give into this parameter uh, many strings uh, and uh, wait for the status of the result and as you can see in the final uh, space here uh, it says if the if this string is working or not so as you can see uh, most of them is probably because we are in the low security of uh, Dumbbell web application so most of them will work and will have an, uh, a result uh, so in real world scenarios uh, we can uh, you can see you will see here that many of them will not work and uh, that the most uh, uh, different ones like this that has many layers of encoding will probably work or this and this is how it can bypass a WAF uh, so for another, another example uh, we can give instead of uh, the fuzz way here uh, we can give the bypass and let's see what we can see here okay and now it tries to bypass uh, the WAF by sending uh, some payload so as you can see here uh, it gave uh, this payload uh, and it uh, as you can see here it says that it is working that it has uh, a 200 HTTP status which is uh, a good sign and uh, the length of its this payload so as you can see here it is a, a really good encoded uh, method uh, string and of course it is uh, it is successful because as we said earlier we are in the low security of dvwa so to continue uh, we can see here that we have more uh, more options for attack methods and that as we said we have the insert fuzz and the insert bypass uh, to add the fuzzing string that we want into the uh, strings that the WAF Ninja will uh, try and finally we have the insert bypass uh, to add the payload to the bypass list uh, that we want and probably we know that it may bypass uh, the WAF but uh, WAF Ninja will try many encoding methods to try to bypass with this payload and finally we have the setdb which uses another database file that we supply uh, it is useful to share the same database with others so this was WAF Ninja the automated tool for bypassing WAF which is a really interesting uh, tool and as you can see it's, it has some serious results that uh, we can try we can compare with our uh, manual results and uh, come to a conclusion uh, with which is the best approach to target the website so thank you for watching uh, hope you like these videos uh, feel free to comment in the forums uh, to make a new thread for with your questions or contact me in person thank you for watching